So now I'm changing up notation a little bit for you. Um, now I'm giving you dy dx, which we know represents the derivative, right? dy dx. So when we take the derivative of what gives us dy dx? Well, that's just going to be, well, if we remember what we started with, if we, if we just start with y. So taking y, taking the derivative, yes, you could have done that. Or we also, if I gave you y, you could have done like y prime, right? Or we could have said dy dx, which represents the same derivative, different um, uh, differentiation of y with respect to x. So anyways, if I want to find the antiderivative, I'm basically just looking for y. Now this doesn't work with the power rule, right? I mean, you could. I mean, we could play into it, but I'm not even going to waste your time. We know the power rule doesn't case. We need to remember our trigonometric um, derivatives and say, all right, the derivative of what, which is basically what we're asking, the derivative of what gives me cosine. And we can say it's sine. Perfect. Done, right? So, but then that brings up the other question is,